This is the Army Today. Future Combat Systems is fielding technology and equipment to soldiers in the battle space. But how did it all begin? At FCS Huntington Beach campus, Gail McCabe spoke with a man who was involved from the start. Future Combat System really is part of the Army's journey of transformation. It really goes back to Desert Storm. That during Desert Storm, that we had many units that were literally out of touch with other units and ill-informed as to what the adversary was doing. So General Sullivan, who was then the Chief of Staff of the Army, began this effort to try and find a way to leverage information. And the concept that we came to, the hypothesis, was basically one that said, if I know where I am, if I know where my enemy is, and if I know where my buddy is, I can basically change the way we do warfare. And so we began this journey about how do we get to an objective force that's built around information, the sharing of information, in an organizational construct that we call the system of systems. And you're able to orchestrate outcomes very rapidly, do the planning and preparation while you're executing with it. You're ahead of your enemy. As we've transitioned to real equipment and started putting it in the hands of soldiers down at Fort Bliss, the response you get from the soldiers is, we want it now. What the Army leadership has done is they have fundamentally shifted course a bit looked at what's available now and talked about how do we get it to the soldier faster. Is it expensive? There's nothing more expensive or valuable than a soldier's life. And so you tell me how you measure expense. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television in Washington.